Hello today and today we're gonna have a game of Min. Yes that's what this game is called Min on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This is a homebrew game 2024 I do believe. Right yeah Min. I think that's an ex exclamation mark on the end there. So it's a puzzly type of game, a simple puzzle game as it says there. So let's redefine the keys. So let's go O, P, select, unselect. Right, okay. It's nothing like Tetris. Whoa! Well, let me, let's just start the game and let's have a go of it. Right, I know how I found out about this game was Nick Jenkins. He reviewed this, so I thought, whoa, that looks interesting. I'll give it a go, right. So, so let me, you can see them sees there, you can see what keys, you know, what you selected. So, first of all, select a um, thing, so we select that, so we can maneuver it into place. Right, okay, then this same story again. So what you've got to do is get three colours in a row. Well, it doesn't even have to be in a row. I think three colours have to be at least touching. So, I don't know about these half ones. No, so it has to be three um, full um, blocks. They've got to be touching. So, yellow. So, there's two reds there, but you can't twist it. You can't. You just basically got to select one and fire it. Alright, so that's yellow there, but that's not going to do. Oh, wait a minute, but we've got two, two, three or more blues touching. So, okay. So I can get a yellow one there, three in a row there, and three reds are touching as well. So, so yeah, this is basically what you do. You pick the cup, pick the block you want to choose, then fire it up. I oh, fucked that up. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that that worked out. <laughs> right. Okay. So yeah, this this is the game. So it has a little, you know, obviously the blocks are similar to Tetris, I didn't want to do that, but oh well. But it ain't bad, I don't know about those smaller blocks though, I don't know what they exactly do. Right. Right, so I was lucky there. So, what about these yellows? I might be able to... No, shit, because they're not... You've got to be least, you know, touching. Right, right. And now you lose this game if you fill up the screen. So if I fill up the screen, that's it. Then it's game over. Right, okay. So there's a cyan one there. I can get that. Right. It's different. It's different, you know, probably inspired by Tetris, but it is definitely doing its own thing here. It's def I'd say, well, I don't know, I've not played any game like this, well, got lucky there. So, it's definitely doing its own thing. So, well done to the um, creator of the game. So, those half blocks, right, so then if that half block goes, then it turns into a full block. If it ain't touched. Right, okay. So those four don't those four will definitely cut. Oh! Lucky hell, got lucky there. So it's not a bad little game. It's not a bad game. If you like puzzle y type games then give this one a go. Now when it turns black, it means you can't you can't um push it in that position because it means you've already filled up the screen or you will fill up the screen so it won't let you do it at that point. Right, so we've got three there, oh that's good. Right, what one do I go for? So it gives you a choice. What one do you want to go for? Right, I think I can get a... Right, okay, but now I'm fucked. Is that blue one is right. Yeah, now I can't go there. 
I can't go, you know, that's that's touching the bottom of the screen now, so that means I can't fill up nothing up there. Can't it ain't gonna let me go, even there for some reason. Ain't gonna let me go because there's three, it won't it can only allow two more, and there's three, so that's why. So it's definitely well thought out. Yeah, so ain't gonna let me. So that's no good. You can't rotate. Oh, it can deselect. If you want to deselect, you can. So. Well, that's not all. What's good? The green one? No. The No, that's not going to do it. Uh, music sounds good. No, I, no, I can't go there. So I'm very limited where I can go now. Because I'm not getting all the colours I want. Oh, hang on, something happened there. don't have to be in a line as long as if three or more are touching you know and it counts right so no this is what yeah uh, shit ah uh, that's it game over continue needed to continue. Nah, it just takes you back. Yeah, so it's not a bad little puzzle game that. It's definitely doing its own thing from Tetris. I mean, probably inspired by Tetris with the blocks, but it's definitely doing its own thing. You know, so it's not a bad little game that. Hang on, 1998. Our Visual Magic Soft 1998, but it says it's a 2004 game. Okay, let's see how you've done it in 1998 and they just decided to release it in 2024. I don't know, I think it's a Russian game. Um, on Zebra. So, not Zosha, Zebra. I think it's Russian. I think they could be Russian, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's not a bad game. And definitely, if you like puzzle games, definitely one to have a go at. Graphics, you know they do the job. Nice and colourful. Music's really nice. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.